So tell us the story about, because um, I think we all saw that you discovered at some point that you were being paid way less than another band that was guys at a film festival. Yeah, you have Sorry, I just took the mic. No, I, just say, you <laughs> I have so many things to say. <laughs> You go, girl. Um, I think it really, I mean, I'll say a story and then that story, but um, I feel like me and my sisters throughout our whole time being in bands have been told, don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat. You don't want to you know, cause a problem. Like, don't ask the question. Don't rock the boat. And I remember hearing, don't rock the boat for the first time, and I was like, well, why can't I rock the boat? Yeah. I want to rock the boat. I'm feeling very upset. <laughs> <laughs> what a feeling. <laughs> And to go back to um, firing our agent, I mean, we, we, I'm never going to ask for more. I want to just be equal. I just want to be equal. I don't, that's literally it. I, that is it. That is a thing. I feel like my mic is being turned down. <laughs> Let's turn uh, that right back uh, up here. There turn the mic up, everybody. Yeah. Turn the mic uh, up. I just want to be equal. And the thing is, the thing that bothered me the most about it is that, um, this said band and us, we shared the same agent. Um, and when I had asked, well, what is the headliner, you know, like the, the people after us getting paid, um, I was met with, everyone's getting paid the same. Don't ask questions. Don't rock the boat. So the thing is, is like when you hear don't rock the boat so many times, you, you kind of like internalize and you're like, okay, well, I don't want to rock the boat. I don't want, I don't want to be looked at as a crazy person because that's what we all have to go through. If you bring up a question, you're crazy. And so we took it and we were like, okay, well, I'm just going to take it for what it is. Everyone's getting paid the same, which is great. I'm down. Let's all do it. We're all here to just play some music. And then I heard that the band after us got paid 10 times more than we did. And when you hear something like that, it's, it's another one of those things where you're just like, is this really happening? Is this a thing? And I really appreciate the group shocking yeah. uh, <laughs> thing. That was a really great the reaction. The, <gasps> the choir <gasps> was great. Um, but the thing is, is like, as Essie said, I'm really lucky that I have my sisters to, you know, get like be my armor because if I was going at it alone, I don't know what I would do. And, mm. and the only thing I can say with anyone that's going, trying to be a musician, trying to do anything in the music industry is you really have to surround, your pe surround yourself with people that are your armor. I was lucky enough to be born with my armor. Yeah. Born with my armor. Born with your with armor. armor. Born. Switch. Yeah. Born with my armor. Just like to round out the story because it's fascinating. Clearly some of the people in this room, I thought, I thought everybody knew it because you're famous for it. But um, oh, Are we? Yeah, you're, fa you're famous for standing up for yourselves. Not Thank everybody. You. I think that this is the time. This is what it's about. This is what this era is about. It's like speaking up, being willing. First of all, you're not actually rocking the boat. You're just looking for a fair shake. Yes. yes. But somebody's convincing you that doing that is rocking the boat. And totally. I think that that's, yeah, go ahead. No, I was going to say, I'm just agreeing with you. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, no, no. Yes. So what I'm saying yeah. is like where, where we're at is like, we're just not going to put up with that anymore. Women are just not going to put up with that anymore. And you're just oh. not going to apologize ever. So just finish the story for me. Like when you found that out, did you go to your sisters and say, well, what do we do? And then like, did, did anybody say, maybe we do, maybe point, we just... I mean, I don't, I think, as you said, like... Uh, I think we were just in complete shock yeah. that, okay. that this was still happening. And, oh. oh, thank you so much. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> and <laughs> we decided we needed a change, and that's, that's what happened. Was, was that a, unanimous? I mean, was yeah. it like... Oh, yeah. I don't really Whoa, think... Whoa, now I'm too after, loud. Yeah. I think after something like that, it's, it's kind of a no-brainer. It's just, you cut the cord. And you, I mean, like you said, find someone that does believe in you and, and is pretty transparent about that stuff. You hope. Do you ever feel like you need, like you need female representation? I think that we, we try to incorporate any opportunity that we get to incorporate women in our projects. We literally are pining, yeah. pining for women. Okay, music producers out there. Literally, yeah. yes. Please. Please. I mean, we, you know, we were lucky enough. We, you know, when we were on tour this past time, we were lucky enough. We literally, we had a female tour manager, which was so, I mean, it's, it's just so nice to feel 
surrounded by women. The road is tough enough as it is. To be surrounded by women is so nice. And we were lucky enough to truly have, I mean, our, our band had a female tour manager. Lizzo's band had a female tour manager. If you don't know Lizzo, know Lizzo. Lizzo. She's the best. She's, She's the such best. a goddess. Um, yeah, I, I think that there's, it's really important. I think that's also a big step in equality is any chance you get, any opportunity you get, yeah, you hire women. And we are, we are working with a female agent. Yeah, no, we had our...